Hello. Oh, I'm back. So, it's funny, in, uh, I, know I mentioned, um, oh, a day, two, whatever, a while ago, that I should really have some post-it notes right here. Now I do. But it's funny, as I was looking at the frame here, there is a picture here that is all hung over. Oh, so there. I think I'll use a post it note to keep it up. And then see about this. This is a bird. Um, I shot it in an exotic location in my backyard. It was in the midst of eating a thistle. That's what these guys do. Um, goldfinch, I think it is. They like thistles. I had thistles. So I kept sinking closer and closer and closer and closer and closer until finally Maybe when I was six or seven feet away, he or she looked up and said, Oh my, and flew away. But in the meantime, I got some mighty fine shots. But this one is a little bit bent. So, if I tuck it where it was, it is still bent. Not really. It is too thick. Um, or maybe there. Nope, not a chance. Oh well. So be it. So. Um, I've been tinkering away on things. Oh, by the way, I have a miraculous thing to tell you here. This is a little tool case thing that most of the tools are not in it. They are elsewhere. It had screwdrivers, it had a little knife, it had all kinds of things. Precision screwdriver. And bits and things and stuff. But anyway, the, the parts of it mostly were gone. Not completely, but I took everything out of there. And this is a miraculous moment because this I will be sending um, away. Maybe to recycling. I think it's recyclable. It has a symbol on the back that says it's recyclable. But see, this is a big thing in actually getting rid of things. Here is something I am going to be rid of. Not at this instant, because I'm here. But I will. I'm going to set it over here somewhere. No, not there. Um, maybe I'll just toss it in that box so I can take it on the way out. So, um, the other day I put up a thing. I was looking at 1541s and I got a message from Carl Hilden who um, he published the Transactor from when it began, and it was, and always will be, pretty much the best magazine there was, technically speaking. Um, and there were books, and it was also the, the magazine that had the famous Butterfield um, centerfold in it. Anyway, 
So he was asking me as I was going through things, and it seemed the supply of disk drives, I suppose, was near endless. He was wondering how many 1541s I had. And the answer is, of course, I don't know. But here, oh, oh, here's a 1571, badly yellowed, with one foot that's wonky. And this whole pile is getting a little shaky. But I figure, what the heck. I'll give it a try. Now already, I think maybe there is trouble. Oh, no. Nope. Huh. Maybe it's meant to do that. I turned it on, and the computer was not on, and it just sat there spinning. Maybe that was, oh, maybe I forgot this. Maybe I never knew it. Maybe that's the thing to tell you, hey, don't forget to turn the disk drive off. Anyway, it is now connected to... Commodore 64. And as soon as I turn it on, it stops spinning. Now I noticed the little latch thing is a little wonky, I think. A little off kilter. But I'm going to attempt to load the directory of the 1541 test demo disk. And it says file not found. So I'm going to do the usual open 15, comma, 8, comma, 15, comma, quote. I zero quote colon close fifteen. Let's see what happens. And it's still flashing. This is not a good sign. But remember, I told you the door, the flippy thing's a little wonky on it. Maybe I'll try again. No, it is flashing, it is not happy. How distressing is that? And, um, yes, although it is not a 1541, it should have no trouble reading discs for a 1541. So, I have a couple things to do. So, I am going to put a little program in here, asking it to initialize over and over and over and over. So the program is just like what I put in before. Line 10, open 15, comma, 8, comma, 15, comma, quote, I, 0, quote, colon, close 15. And then 20 says go to 10. But, like all programmers, I should have done something else in there. I'm going to say that I, in line 15, I equals I plus, oops, plus 1. And then I'm going to put a colon, and I'm going to say print I. And then I will run. Let's see what happens. So it is now up to four, five. Now, just to be neater, I'm going to change that print I. You know what? Like any good programmer, I'm going to adapt on line five. I'm going to tell it to clear the screen. And how do I do that? I put five, print, quote, and then I press shift and clear home, which comes up with a reverse heart and a quote. And for those who know things, that means clear the screen. And if you don't know, well, that's what it does. And then, I'm going to go down to this print I, and I'm going to put a quote. And I'm going to press clear home, but I'm not going to clear the screen. And I'm going to go down five cursor movements, and I'm going to go across. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of them. And I'm going to put a quote, and I'm going to put a semicolon, and I'm going to put an I. 
So that now, there's not much of anything programmed, but it was just going to torture the drive. We'll now clear the screen, count i equals i plus 1. It will print that on the screen, but it will always print it in the same place because I told it to. And it will torture this drive. And that is what it is doing. It is now up to 4. Fine. Anyway, um, I have a couple things to do. Um, but we have things to take care of. Remember, I was going to take apart a 128, and I was going to maybe open up a joystick. And I also, ooh, I found something in my car. And I never remember using one of these in the old days, ever, 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 ever. It's a Commodore Sound Expander. Um, huh, and its model is Sound Expander. And it was made in Hong Kong. Um, it has a funny thing in the side here. It has a thing so you can stick another cartridge in. Um, and I don't know what else it needs. It also appears to have an RCA jack for sound, I suppose, to come out. But that's another story. So, I'm going to leave this to torture. It's now up to 41, 42, and it's still not working well. So, we'll see what happens with that later. For now, I'm going to turn out the lights. And, uh... Do a couple things and then we'll come back. Maybe we'll look at a joystick.